Chicken breast is the most commonly bought meat that I've ever seen, but it's also the number one food that everybody seems to mess up. Nobody wants to eat dry yucky. So listen carefully, kings. The correct chicken breast movement has arrived. talking about chicken breast, obviously. Chicken breast is extremely lean, and that's why so many people get it, because they're like, oh, this is healthy, which is, I guess, true. As the fat content of a meat shrinks, so does the room for error. I partnered with Samsung to launch the new Terrace TV, outdoor TV, I talked about it on Instagram, we're here now. This is IP55 rated. First and foremost, I am a cook. The cooler part is that I could do this. So we're watching the old guard on Netflix, a little taste. It's about an elite group of guardians that are immortal. So if you don't know, if something is immortal, it's tough to kill. But do you wanna know what's tough to eat? Improperly cooked chicken breast. And you might be thinking, that's kind of a weird parallel, Josh. But you guys know I'm all about weird parallels. We're gonna be cooking chicken breast properly the most excellent way we can on a grill. Thank you, Samsung, for this opportunity. We got the TV, so let's make this, shall we? Okay, so first let's set our grill for an offset heating system. Two thirds of your grill should be around medium high and the far left or far right third will be at low or medium low, depending on how hot your grill gets. Then just preheat that until it reaches around 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 230 degrees Celsius. Now this one's gonna be super silly simple. I mean, literally salt and pepper and maybe some spices if you wanna go that route. Lightly brush some bone in skin on chicken breast with high heat cooking oil. Season as many as you want with salt and pepper and any other spices you'd like. Toss it on the hot side of the grill and get a mild amount of color, you know, turning it every minute or so for about five minutes. Then close the lid and keep your chicken on the cool side of the grill and let it cook for about 20 to 30 minutes Minutes, maintaining that 450. Keep checking on it every now and again, and as soon as your chicken hits 165 Fahrenheit or 75 degrees Celsius, immediately remove it from the grill and let it rest for about eight minutes. That's about as simple as it gets. Now hold on, you could also doll that up a bit by simply stuffing your chicken bobbies. And of course, pause the TV so you don't miss anything. Um, okay, so first take another bone-in skin-on chicken breast and run your knife along the bone scraping repeatedly Keeping your knife against the bone until you've removed a nice skin-on but boneless chicken breast Now to make the stuffing you're gonna start by finely chopping three slices of prosciutto Heating a pan with about two and a half tablespoons or 40 milliliters of olive oil over medium heat until very hot Now fry your prosciutto until very crispy and golden about two minutes. Then remove it from the oil, leaving the oil behind. Now while the pan is still nice and hot, go ahead and toss in four to eight leaves of fresh sage, fry until crispy, about 30 seconds, then place those on a paper towel to cool along with the pro scuto, brother. Sorry. Okay, so with your boneless but skin plus chicken breast, take a nice sharp knife and cut along the center side of the breast to open it up like a nice little poultry book. Have a little read about this majestic bird's ancestors and then stuff it with a nice handful of fresh Italian parsley, the zest of half a lemon, and your prosciutto sage mixture crushed up between your fingers. Now look, if you want to be extra bougie, then just take some of your extra truffle that you have lying around and just go ahead and give it a fat grating. Then carefully roll your chicken up into a nice meaty log and then fasten it with three individual strips of kitchen twine evenly spaced apart like so. Make sure to tie a nice knot, you know, don't let it fall off or anything. Cook that the exact same way as before and definitely let this beast rest. Then slice into it to get these beautiful medallions with a nice vein of flavor running through it. Again, tasty but not the easiest way to make it perfect. Now you might be thinking, well Josh, that's not very enticing. And you'd be right, except I do have one more trick up my sleeve. So again, start with some bone-in, skin-on chicken breasts, and we're gonna make a little marinade with a lot of ingredients, so here we go. Combine the following. Four cloves of garlic, which except for some reason today my garlic was gigantic, so I guess two cloves if you have sicko mode garlic. One shallot halved and peeled, the juice of two oranges, the zest of one whole lime, the juice of three lemons, the juice of two limes, one tablespoon or 15 milliliters of honey, half a bunch of mint, half a bunch of cilantro, three tablespoons or 45 milliliters of fish sauce, and a splash of vinegar that you like, such as chikyang vinegar. Blend that together, oh wait, uh, oh god, sorry, a little more. Also, two Thai chilies. Blend until smooth with a hand blender or a regular blender. Once smooth, slowly stream in three tablespoons or 45 milliliters of olive oil till emulsified. 
Now you don't have to go that hard, but you know, I always recommend it. Anyway, once you've got your marinade, get some vacuum seal bags, toss in a chicken breast or two, pour in about a quarter cup of your marinade, seal the bags until nice and airless, then toss them in a sous vide set to 66 degrees Celsius for one to one and a half hours. This is the key here. I know not everyone has one, but it's really <laughs> truly perfectly cooked. Now once you're done with your sous vide, pull your thicky chicky out of the bags. Whoops, Papa forgot to hit play. Brush them lightly with oil and season with salt. Toss them on a grill that's been preheated over medium high heat, nice and hot, and then just grill them, turning them often until nicely brown and crisp skinned little beauties that should take no more than about five minutes. You don't wanna cook the chicken here, you just want some good color on it. Then again, remove it from the grill and let it rest for about eight minutes, then slice into it and go into juicy heaven. When I marinate, I like to reserve a little on the side, you know, like stuff that doesn't touch the raw chicken to use on the finished chicken. All right, turn the TV off and let's give these three a taste. Okay, so this is a little bit of a different one because we're outside and it's really hot and so I'm hot But Vikram can stay over here in the hot and I'd be cold while I eat yummy food in front of him Very good chicken chicken and chicken all three different ways all done on the grill, but all very different Before we had the motorcycle guy and now we have a plane before it was like meh, but now we have a plane It's like now everyone who's gonna eat this chicken, there's a lot of speed on it. So this is the sous vide chicken. I'll eat that last because I feel like that's probably gonna win. Go with the plain grilled. Okay, so this is like salt, pepper, plain grilled. Couple things to note on this. It's good, there's depth of flavor, slight stringiness. It was cooked to 165. I almost feel like it went a little over. It's much harder to achieve perfect temperature unless you're constantly watching it. With that said, juiciness scale, 7.5623 out of 10. This is the stuffed and grilled regular, so it's relatively the same thing, but it's stuffed, hence the main vein of flavor on this. There's more planes in the air right now than there is in, in the history of, of mankind, and I decided this is the time. Why? This one, this one got a little bit more overcooked, although not to the point that it's not edible, and not to the point that I would necessarily say that it's bad, and that's because the bone was removed. It's much easier to maintain it with a bone. It's good and the stuffing is what brings it forward. So, juiciness flavor scale, seven. Six, six point nine, five, two, plus chicken emoji. Last but not least is the sous vide chicken breast. Sous vide, marinated, and grilled, just for color though. This to me reaches the pinnacle of chicky have been perfectly cut, ultra moist. Yes, moist, because that's the most descriptive word. You don't get precision anywhere else at that level. Sous vide plus browning method, aka grilling, broiling, searing. Uh, sous vide, juicy flavor. I'm gonna give it an eight plus very good hand. That is the way to perfect chicky. Or you can just have good technique and keep your eye on the temperature. Anyway, bye! I'm not going all the way in the water. That's not happening. But do you want to know what else is chickeny and moist? Ugh, jeez. B roll. And that is it. So this concludes our mini series, Big Screen and Barbecue with Samsung. Again, thank you Samsung for giving me the Terrace TV. I use it all the time when I'm cooking out there. Use it on 4th of July. It's it's really an outdoor game changer and I, and I do mean that. Make sure to go right now to samsung.com or the link in the description to check out the Terrace TV and then obviously come back here to get your recipes. Bro. Cooking chicken is still a basic thing, but you have to give it the tender care and love that it needs in order to be broke up. Can't stop myself today. Like I said before, people go willy nilly with this. This is not the thing to go willy nilly with bro so i hope you learned something important from this but anyway if you enjoyed this video or you learned something leave a like subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye doesn't close all the way.